Hey, it's Philip here. You're very welcome to today's Twyford tip. Today, I wanted to give you a cool way you can create your own link in bio. Now, what is a link in bio? Well, it tends to be referred to when we're talking about Instagram. Instagram has this one big bugbear that we all have, whereby it only gives you the one clickable link, which is in your bio in the website part. Some people just put their website address in there. Some people use a great tool like Linktree, which when you click it, allows you to share multiple links or direct people to multiple pages on your website. But from the free point, you are limited to I suppose the colors and how you can make that link in bio look. So today I wanted to show you how you can actually create your own link in bio so you can make it creative, on brand and I suppose designed the way you want by using Canva. Uh, so definitely I think you'll find this tip very useful so stay tuned. Okay, so I just want to show you here. So here I'm on my Instagram account and you'll see here, as I mentioned, um, about Linktree. So this is Linktree. This is the link in bio tool. And when you click on it, this is what you see. It's a very simple design, but I suppose from the, um, I suppose from the free point, it has its logo um, and it's quite basic. So you may want to have your own branding. So this is why I wanted to show you how you can create your own link in bio using Canva. So if we come over to Canva and you're going to put in the search bar link in bio and Canva is going to show you over 18,000 templates. You can see there's a whole host of different templates here, which is fantastic. Now let's just say for ease, I like the look of this one. Um, you click on it, it's going to open up. So here it is now. So for the purposes of this, I'm not going to do a huge amount of editing. I just want to show you exactly how this works. So obviously I want to change my photo. So I'm just going to delete that. Go over to my uploads. If you don't have a photo already uploaded in the Canva, you just click upload files and you do it. But here's a, a photo I already have. So I'm just going to drag it like so. And if you have used Canva, it's very, very simple. So I'm just going to change the name, just put in Philip. We just want to get, keep it nice and easy. And let's just say that I'm happy with the button design, with the text, etc. But let's just say I wanted this first button to be about. So I have it as a strategy. So now we want to actually be able to make that button clickable. So this is how you do it. So this is my website. I'm going to highlight the page that I want to drive someone to from that button and I'll go back to Canva. And what I just want to do is just to click to highlight the button and then go over to the top right and click the link icon. And then you're going to paste in that web address. So now there is a link added to that button. So now how do we actually make this the link in bio a web kind of functionality so that that button can be clicked? What I want you to do is, is to go over to share. And then I want you to come down here to website. If you don't see it here, you'll see it down here more. Just click website. And you'll be presented with a couple of options. You don't want it as a presentation. So I want it to be scrolling. And when I click open website, this is going to turn this into a web page for you. So we're going to open website. So you can see now that it has created this unique website landing page for whatever you want to call. And then if I come down here to my button and click on strategy, you'll now see that obviously when I click, it brings me to my site. So you can kind of start to see why this is so powerful. Now, obviously this big long link here, as you will have experienced when you're doing social media posts, that's way too long and it's ugly looking. So if you were getting deep dive, obviously it's beyond the scope of this video, but there is a video on, uh, on my YouTube channel, if you want to visit that. Uh, where I talk about UTM links and the Google URL builder. But for the purpose of this, let's just use a shortener called Bitly. So I'm just going to copy this and go over to Bitly. And what Bitly will do is shorten that link right down. 
So I'm just going to go create new, click link, and I'm going to paste in that big long URL. Then I just want to come down here and here I can actually personalize somewhat the link. So I might go, let's go just fill strat just for the purposes of this video. Build strat, go down to the bottom here and click create. Bitly will create my fill strat link and then I can just go copy. And just to show you what this now looks like. And there you go. So there's my, and there it is, clickable. And that's how you can create your own link in bio using Canva. And you can now, essentially, you can, you can take that link that you created and you can put it in your Instagram bio. You may decide that you want to include maybe on your LinkedIn bio profile, your Twitter profile and create it for those specific channels. It gives you a whole host of opportunities. So hope you enjoyed this Twyford tip. So I hope you found today's Twyford tip useful. Give this a go. I think you'll find that it's very easy. You can create your own link and bio very, very easily in Canva. Put all the links, the creative, the branding that you want. And sure, even why not test using the link that you create maybe on some of your other social media channels to see if it actually sparks click through. Stay tuned. I will be back very soon with some more Twyford tips. And if you like this video, do share with your own community. Take care.